Okay, here we go. This is my first time uh, attempting to gesso a canvas. Um, I just started watercolor, so I've read up on it and I just want to try this out. So the products that I bought were just um, a cheap, just a $2 Dollarama canvas, because I again, I don't know what I'm doing, and some Liquitex gesso, also a foam brush, and a foam roller, because I'm not really sure which one I'm going to be using, because like I said, I'm, I'm new to this. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I think I think I'm gonna put this bowl underneath to kind of raise it. There we go. Ay -ay. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, seal stiffens and provides surface tooth for painting surfaces for acrylic oil pastels and other media. If you just see it says it's Liquitex gesso surface prep. And this is approximately $13.79 a bottle for about 237 mils. Okay, let's cut to the chase here. Um, let me see, apply to raw canvas, smoother surface, allow, allow 24 hours minimum drying before use. Okay, that's fine. Um, it doesn't say I have to shake it or anything, so I don't know. I think I'm just going to pour it on. Let's see. Okay, there's a... A sealer here. Take that off. Ugh! Well, you're learning along with me, right? So here we go. Put the lid back on. I think I'm just gonna pour it on. I have no idea. It seems kind of thin. I'm gonna shake it. It doesn't say to shake it, but I'm shaking it. So the reason why I bought a cheaper canvas is because, again, I'm just practicing. I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I do have a good roller. Ooh, yoy. Okay, I guess I need a lot more. I don't think this roller is going to work. I'm thinking, I wonder if this would work better. Let's try this. Hmm. I think this is working better. Um, I could probably use the roller for the very last part just to smooth it out and I think this is working out okay feels like um, like a house paint I don't know it's, it's very very strange for me so we're gonna go one way we'll go like this and Maybe this way? I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to do the sides yet until, until I get a smooth... I wonder if I use the roller here. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to lift, just lift it up like this. There, that's better. And then put it back on the bowl for stability. And then just kind of pat the sides. I think that sounds good. Oh. I might seem frustrated because although it's easy to put on, I just I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. That's just my main concern. But so after you do the first coat. So I did some research. I think you're supposed to sand between coats. I'm taking an acrylics class and we just gessoed a piece of paper. We never gessoed a canvas, but I figured I would maybe start on my own. How hard can it be? I think I'm just gonna... I like the brush. 
the foam brush better than that roller. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and see what happens with the next coat. Okay, so anyway, with these items here, seeing that they're water-based, I'm going to just wash them under the sink because, you know, this stuff can get expensive too. Oh, here it is. So I'll just wash those under water and uh, give it a second coat 